I'm Erin Silva. I'm an assistant professor in the UW-Madison Plant Pathology Department and the Extension Specialist in Organic Agriculture. And I'm standing in front of our organic cover crop based no-till plots. So we have two different treatments here. This is our typical organic treatment. So we've prepared the seed bed like we typically would with some um, tillage and then planted the soybean into clean ground and then went through with typical organic weed management methods with uh, tine weeders and row cultivators and rotary hose. So you can see it's a, it's a nice soybean stand, but we do have quite a few broadleaf weeds coming through here, including pigweed, some um, uh, ragweed, and uh, giant ragweed, unfortunately, and some other weeds that you typically would see in a Wisconsin organic production system. Right here, however, this is where we have the cover crop based no-till plots. So what we've done here is plant a rye cover crop in September. So around September 15th, we came through, we drilled rye at about a rate of three bushels an acre and that overwintered and started to grow again in April and May. And when that cover crop reached anthesis at the end of May, early June, we rolled it with a roller crimper front mounted on a tractor and then planted the soybean directly behind that. And you can see here, there's a thick mat of rye that's suppressing the weeds. So once we planted this soybean, unlike this plot here to the right of me, the organic farmer didn't have to do anything to this plot. They were planted and there's been no further weed management on this plot. But you can see how incredibly clean it is and how incredibly well the soybeans are doing. They established incredibly well, they're, they're growing well, and we're expecting to get a good yield off of this plot when we harvest in October. And so this was funded by SARE in 2009, some of the initial work where we compared different small grains that we could use as cover crops that could then be rolled. And what we found out from that initial SARE funded study is that rye really is the superior cover crop for this system. Similar to what you're seeing behind me, we found that rye really produces a very clean field with almost no weeds across the soybean planting. Um, however, we do see that the soybeans do tend to lag a bit behind the typical organic counterparts. So what we're doing on this field is putting on different rates of composted poultry manure to see if we can use that as a starter fertilizer to try to make up for that initial uh, lag in soybean growth. So we have two different rates of composted poultry manure or pelletized poultry manure that we put on here and we'll measure yield at the end of the season to see if there's any benefit of that additional end at the beginning of the production season.